Prince did take Percocet. Uh, Prince basically had a, uh, a, a hip uh, injury, and, uh, and and so his doctor gave him Percocet. But uh, eventually, <clears throat> so he had a lot of and pay, Percocet just for your uh, for your viewership is uh, is is an narcotic, a painkiller, basically. So he was having pain. He was taking Percocet. It's short acting. Um, so, uh, but but uh, Prince was found uh, the following day. Uh, you know, uh, the day after he was last seen, they found him in, in an elevator, and pretty much dead in an elevator. And he died by taking a uh, Vicodin, which Vicodin is a uh, is another uh, painkiller that's in combination with Tylenol. So it's an opioid painkiller with Tylenol. Uh, and longer lasting than Percocet, even stronger in terms of potency. Uh, the problem there was that he, um, we don't know how he got the Vicodin because he was not prescribed uh, Vicodin by any physician, but uh, the, the assumption is that he may have bought it on the internet or got it some other, other way um, because because they discovered that the Vicodin that he took was adulterated with with uh, um, fentanyl, fentanyl, right? Fentanyl. Yeah, fentanyl. And yeah, fentanyl was a hundred times more potent than than morphine. Uh, yeah. Usually, usually you compare all these opioids to morphine. So, um, so now he took this adulterated Vicodin uh, that had fentanyl, which he didn't know he had. So when he took when he took it. Uh, and since he didn't get it as prescribed, then he took too much and died from, like I said, respiratory depression caused by uh, the opioids overdose. 